Welcome back to Rudy Tuesday, a video series focused on mid-market companies who are looking to strengthen their market position, grow profitably, and increase the value of their business. The first Tuesday of each month, we offer a video that is meant to be informative, interactive, and fun. I hope our focus on growth has been helpful to you. Send us your comments, questions, and topics you want to know more about. I would love to get your feedback, your challenges, and successes. Last month, we talked about focusing on EBITDA, transformation, and three important factors in maximizing efforts to grow profitably. One, selection of projects that bring maximum potential for improvement. Two, separation of projects into short-term and longer-term. And three, a full funding support of selected projects. Today, we're going to focus on the why and how of an acquisition. Acquiring a new business can be an effective means to achieve a company's strategic growth goals. In fact, if you're thinking of an acquisition, you're not alone. In 2013, 42% of US CEOs surveyed were planning an M&A event. Given continued low interest rates and plenty of cash available from a variety of sources, we may see an additional uptick around acquisitions. According to successful CEOs, adopting an acquisition strategy can be very beneficial if done for the right reason. In addition, with proper planning, valuation, and execution, a company can reduce risks and maximize their value creation. Today's topics we will cover why an acquisition, how to properly plan an acquisition, and success is all about integration. Let's start with the whys. What are some of the primary reasons to pursue an acquisition? They may be for capturing market share quicker and with fewer risks, or acquire a brand name, have a diversification strategy, acquire intellectual capital, acquire enabling technologies. These are just some examples of why you might consider an acquisition. No matter what your why, it is critical that you clearly define your strategic goals and have a strong rationale for pursuing an acquisition. How to properly plan an acquisition has multiple pieces to making it a success. First and foremost, you must have the right advisory people and use them at the right time. Make certain that all your advisors, lawyer, accountants, CFO, benefit consultants, and so forth, have done M&A transactions before. This is actually more important than most people will admit to. Remember, an acquisition is a complex transaction and you don't want to be caught off guard. Second, how you manage the transaction from due diligence to executing the deal is going to be putting a lot of additional demands on you. With the right advisors, you want to reduce risk by conducting thorough due diligence, apply the right valuation, put meaningful contractual terms in place, and achieve the appropriate communications so that information and intentions do not get lost or misinterpreted. Finally, we have all heard about the percentage of failed acquisitions. Yes, it is high. However, with mid-market companies, it is easier to achieve synergies since you have the capabilities to be more flexible than a large company. Critical to your success is that you identify an integration strategy and the resources needed to execute the plan early in the planning stage. This is the area most often overlooked by CEOs, yet an area responsible for many failed acquisitions. If you have done acquisitions before, leverage these lessons. Remember, always be ready to say no and move on to the next opportunity. For your growth strategy, Acquisitions, when done properly, can create great company value and a much quicker path to market. Here are some helpful tips from a panel of M&A experts 
who recently participated in a Next Stage Solutions CEO Workshop event. Clearly define your strategic goals and have a strong rationale for making an acquisition. Strategic fit. Examine impact on organization, customers, and stakeholders. Adhere to clearly defined processes, procedures, and guidelines. Engage key advisors who give expertise in M&A to reduce risks and to maximize value. Competition is still pretty tight. Expect to pay what you are looking to acquire. Identify an integration strategy and resources needed to execute the plan. So to recap, important acquisition takeaways for today are 1. Why an acquisition? Define your strategic goals. 2. Properly plan the acquisition. And 3. Success is all about the integration. Acquisitions are an important aspect of growing your business. Clearly define your strategic goals. Do your homework on due diligence and place great importance to the post-merger integration phase. Please visit our website, nextstagesolutions.com, and go to Rudy Tuesday tab. You will find additional resources around this subject. Make sure to tune in each month for helpful tips. In February, we will share tips on strategic partnerships and alliances. In March, we'll talk about CFO mentoring and advising. And in April, we will explore how to monetize and exit. Informative, interactive, and solutions to grow your business. So for now it is, goodbye, Rudy Tuesday. Mm -hmm.